there's what looks good on paper and then there's actually enjoying your accomplishments and the life that you're living. Transformation coach and author Mackie Mosavi is here to help offer a reset on the way we approach achievement. I know a lot of us say, if I could just reach this in my career, then I would be happy. And you find yourself, I did it, but I still feel like something's missing. And you really address that in your new book that you have coming out in just two months. I do, yes. So um, high achievers, are a lot of us are driven by success in a way that it's been defined for us. So we learn a lot about success from our families, our industries, the people that we hang out with. And what we can find is that um, you know, we reach those milestones and we have everything we want. We can have the status, the house, the vacations, be able to buy whatever we want and still feel like there's something missing. I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, what advice do you have when you hit that wall to like re-energize, mm -hmm. you know, your emotions and your career? Yeah, so the first thing is really don't talk yourself out of it. You know, if you feel like something's missing, there's really something going on. And I think a lot of what we tend to do is to say, well, there must be something wrong with me. I have everything. And, you know, why, why do I feel this way? So the first thing to do is really to pay attention to that feeling. And even if you don't know what you want instead, that's exactly where you need to start, is what's not working for you, and to be really honest with yourself about that. I think that's such great advice, because I've talked myself out of a lot of emotions. Oh, stop it, you're blessed, you know, count your blessings, and then not really address problems in your life. So exactly. I think that's wonderful advice. Then you also said instead of a to-do list, there's a don't list. Yes. So the first, you know, as you're thinking about what do I want instead, you know, getting really good and clear on what you don't want is really important. And there's a lot of to-dos. We all have a lot of to-dos. We make a yes. lot of lists. Every day. <laughs> uh, every day, all the time. And so there's some things that you should not do anymore. And I would say the very first thing to do as you're getting started on this journey is to not judge yourself. You are where you are. You're starting from where you're starting from. It doesn't matter. Try not to live in regret or in the fact that you feel like you've made mistakes on this path. Withhold the judgment. So first is don't judge. The second is don't be on autopilot. Um, you can't, we all get into a rut where we just, we do the same things every day all the time. We don't really think about it anymore. It's kind of like getting in your car and driving to a familiar place exactly. and you're just kind of not even conscious. And you really have to wake up and tune into what is going on in my day so that you can get clarity on the fact that there's probably a lot of things that are happening in your day on a routine basis that don't really work for you, but you're just not tuning into that. So you've got to be in a place where you can pay attention. And then another piece is to not think that you can undo this quickly. A lot of us want, you know, quick oh, fixes yeah. and Sign instant me. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me for you, sure. You can't fast forward. You know, you really have to be in a place where you are willing to do the work and let it take the time that it needs to take in order to get to a better place. But the good news is it isn't going to take you years and years. You can actually do it pretty quickly if you just are consistent and apply, you know, yourself over time. And what's the quick 15 second best piece of advice you have for all of us? Um, the best advice I can give to anyone is to just do one, just to follow the bread, breadcrumbs. You know, you don't have to have a whole plan sometimes. It's just whatever feels like the next right step is the next right step. Even if you don't know what comes after it, go ahead and take the step. That's great. I think that's something we can all relate to. Yeah. So um, that is all the great stuff that I write about in my book that's coming out in a couple of months for people who, whether you're already a high achiever and have everything and feel like you're stuck, or if you're someone who feels like you could be in a better place than you are now, everyone can benefit from this because it's really about getting out of your own head, not judging yourself, and figuring out what works for you and working towards and it. And I think especially with social media, we're judging ourselves constantly. We're, we're contrasting and comparing our lives to other people. And sometimes we're like, oh man, I'm a loser because I don't have that and look at this. So I think the not judging yourself is great advice for people to carry in to fall. Absolutely, and not comparing yourself is huge, right? Because we're all on our own journeys. Every one of us is different. And you know, you're, you're here to do what you need to do. You don't need to be worried about what everyone else is doing. And that's a very hard mindset to get into, but it's an important one. Most definitely. Well, great luck. Um, good luck with your book. It was great Thank to you. have you here. Advice I am going to follow starting right now. <laughs> Sounds great. Okay. Thanks.